All right, this question is customer who visits but did not make any transaction. So uh, you are giving two table, one is visits, the other one is transaction table. So just write the query to find the ID of the users who visits without making any transaction and the number of the time they made uh, list type of visits. So uh, this is pretty straightforward. So here's it. So uh, we can tell, uh, we can tell like, uh, Visits ID for visits and customer ID for visits as well, right? And then transaction table, right? Transaction ID and visits ID. So we can actually uh, map uh, these two table by visits ID, right? And then uh, in this question, uh, since there are some visits ID not in the transaction uh, table, so you have to use the left join. And then we are using uh, to count the total, right? So we need to group by the custom ID, right? So we also need to use a group by. So uh, now, uh, basically, like uh, when we're trying to use the left join, we need to know uh, should we use the is no uh, when we map uh, these two table. So uh, this is going to be pretty much the basis idea, right? So I'm going to select the custom ID and change another color. Select the custom ID and the count of the visit, uh, visit ID. And I need to left join the transaction table. And then to map the ID with the ID, right? And then for T the ID, with for T the visit, visit ID is not known, right? T the visit ID is not known. Then I can just go by the custom ID. So what does this mean? So uh, look at this. So we have one to eight. And then uh, the uh, the transaction table only have five 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 one two right, so just look at this uh, one two. Uh, this uh, this guy made a transaction right, and then five right. So this one made a transaction. All right, so uh, we have to know like right? we need to return fifty four for two right, fifty four for two, and then ninety six for for one thirty for one right, thirty for one, and then ninety six for one. So this is going to be pretty much the idea. So uh, uh, let's just start coding and then you'll be able to find uh, uh, find out the answer, right? So select the custom ID, custom ID, and I need to use the count, right? Count that visits ID as uh, count num trans, right? So, so the reason why I use the count as visits ID, uh, just making sure I have a v dot v, uh, visits ID. So uh, visits ID, this is because I'm going to go by, go by the custom ID, right? So custom ID. Okay. So uh, I need to uh, find out which table I'm going to uh, count, right? So it's going to be visits. I'm going to show it as V. And then I'm going to use the left join. So using using the left join, you will find out a um, uh, uh, transaction table. Like you want the left join transaction table. So transaction t. And then I need to say v dot visit id equal to t dot visit id, right? And then at some point, uh, t dot visit id is no, right? Because you cannot map, right? You, you you cannot map, right? So you want to know the transaction without making i mean the user without making any transaction right so i need to find out where visits id in the transaction table is not in the list of the uh, visits visits id in the visits table right so i'm going to use a where condition where t dot visits id is no and i group by the custom id right so i want to find out the users who did not make the transaction, right? So this is pretty much a solution. All right, uh, just a little bit uh, logic over here. So uh, just, just look at it and then I will talk to you next time, bye.